Four years ago, as I watched my grandmother suffer multiple strokes, endure hospital stays, and was led finally to her grave, not only was I confronted with bouts of sadness, but I also wondered, had that hospital done everything in their power to save her life, or at least comforted her as she progressively got worse? I also realized, who was I to be questioning what a hospital was doing with its job? I had no degree. I wasn't a hospital manager. But I also felt that it could be improved. What if I could design a hospital system that attended to the needs of every patient and had a perfect system? I knew that was impossible because I had no years of training and no degrees. But I had an idea and a reason behind the idea. What if I could improve how hospital systems work? What if I could learn about them? And I took that challenge. So first I did some information digging. I talked to my friend who is a supervisor at the radiology department of Houston Methodist, and he gave me a list of the responsibilities that he has. He told me that he receives an allotment of money. He has to decide how much to spend on labor and non-labor expenses. He told me that if certain deadlines are not met, he has to fill out a form of an action plan saying what he plans to do to fix them. He has to monitor patient satisfaction scores, and he has to keep track of his employer's labor output. After an hour and a half of information, I was overwhelmed. In addition, I looked into the hospital system that he works for, Houston Methodist, and I found something so interesting. It's called eye care, and it stands for integrity, compassion, accountability, respect, and excellence. And through these values, every employee at the Houston Methodist organization tries so hard to strive and attain these characteristics when they're dealing with patients. So after seeing these examples, I felt who was I to bring an idea to this table of this complicated system of healthcare and hospital management? But I had an idea and I had a reason behind it. So I attempted and I formed Paragoria Hospital System. Paragoria means, in the Greek language, comfort and consolation. I just would like to highlight one feature of this system, and it is the RRR system. This stands for receive, review, and respond. What this group of experts does is they receive patient as well as employee surveys. They review them, seeing the similarities, the trends and the answers, such as, did you feel like you were respected and listened to as a patient here at Paragoria Hospital System? Would you recommend our care to different family members and friends? And on the other side, we have the employee survey. Did you, do you feel that you are valued here at Paragoria? Do you feel that your relationship with the patients and your fellow coworkers has that Paragoria spirit of comfort and concern? And would you recommend this occupation to others? And after reviewing the surveys, they respond. They come up with suggestions. They come up with uh, plans to implement in order to improve the system of Paragoria so that the relationships between doctors and patients are improved. The workers, their workmates, they feel closer to one another. And that is the whole point of this hospital system. I also designed a potential hospital department for Paragoria, and that is the dialysis core. And one room I'd like to point out is the sky room. See. Now, what is a sky room in a hospital? Well, say, for instance, you've just had a long day at work at Paragoria. You just diagnose someone, and you feel like you need to relax. Or you're a patient who just heard some troubling news or just went through a procedure, and you come to this room. You're greeted with sounds of water trickling, the smells and aroma of fresh plants and flowers, and the warmth of the skylight and you feel 
relaxed. You feel comforted, consoled. You feel perigoria. And that is the whole point of the sky room in the perigoria dialysis core and many other prospective hospitals. Now, is this system complete? By no means. But is any system really perfect? There are constant adaptations that a hospital has to deal with. One source from the New England Journal of Medicine highlighted that in one year, American adults only received 54.9% of the recommended care, and that the main barrier to patient-centered care is that more attention is being devoted to the outcomes of diseases and, or the outcomes of, rec of medications rather than the needs and wishes of the patient. So there is room for improvement. And in the meantime, as, they can, as hospitals continue to improve, I ask myself, what can I do as a person to help hospitals? I don't have a, co a, a degree in hospital management. I'm not an architect. But what can I do to help them? Can I show my appreciation for those who work in this complicated system? Just as a small toe may not have the same job as the heart, the lungs, or the kidneys, it plays a vital role in the balance of a human being. Whether you are operating on a brain in a surgery or you're filing reports for medication shipments, you are contributing to the health of the hospital. So until hospitals progress, I look forward to a future where they continue to show organization, functionality, stability, financially, and in patient care. I look forward to hospitals that continue to exhibit that perigoria attitude of comfort and consolation and concern. A hospital that I would have wanted my grandmother to be in. A hospital that is healthier. One that is efficient. Thank you.